police. Because we feel that if you treat people very badly, they come out very bitter and they take it back out on society. In fact, they tend not to have any, any um, they, they feel hopeless. Yeah. And that hopeless now will make a man, if he don't put no value on himself, he will have no problem raping another a woman, shooting anybody, because he will put no value on himself and not put no value on anybody else. So, you know, the other thing also is that we would definitely seek to turn the lockups now into educational institutions. You can use technology, computer and other things, yeah, one computer and so on, or several computers, or you can go to the whole time method of a, a blackboard and teachers going in and so forth. But you must see to turn the lockups, not just the prisons now, the lockups. Yeah. We have people who are remanded for three months, nine months. Some people are remanded for a year. Yes. There's a whole you can do with a human being within that year. There are a lot of things you can teach him. You know. What about rehabilitation programs? In no, none is in the lockups. No rehabilitation is in any lockup in Jamaica. You are literally just locked up. There's no rehabilitation in any lockups, you know. And I think that the lockups, you, co you cover much more youths and a wider cross section of youths than the prisons. Because lots of people pass through the lockups. Yes. You yes. know, remanded. So if a man is remanded for a week, two weeks, that's only for hours. Yes. yes. You know, that you can transform in life. Definitely. into reading and all, but it's because most of the lockups are so dark, even during the day, you can't see a hand in the front bay and these lockups, so therefore you, it will make sense to get a man a book to read, you cannot see for reading there, so all of that will have to change, that we can um, set up ways and means, and it's Total not expensive, rehabilitation. definitely, and therefore now, if he devotes most of his time to who never went to school or who never did any work, you know, in a couple months you can teach him quite a bit of basic maths, basic English, you know. Um, and what about the overcrowding? Because that has been no, a perennial problem with the people the die through asphyxiation, or just no oxygen nerves inside. Nerves. Yes. Just yes. a man, you know, just too much. Yes. Um, I, I tell you, it gets so bad that I saw Superintendent Fitzdale, who's in charge of half a tree. He went over to the judge, excuse it, and asked her not to remand no more people. Because he can't take no more over there. He had to ask her, he said, I just can't take no more because there's too much over there now. And when you have the overcrowding, that's when you have the riots, that's when you have nerves being up and nerves, yes. and the chances of a man killing an ex-human being. So when you have the superintendent for station and charge of a lockup, asking the judge not to remand no more people because I cannot take it over here. So we definitely, as a minister of justice, have to look at... It, it, it can be just ganja for a spliff now to say you're not going to make it an arrestable offence. You have to look at a broad section to make sure you don't arrest nobody. So the issue of bail and the issue of holding people just out of the... You know, them. Give them a summons. Come up with that bail. So they don't have to be locked up or kept or anything like that. So you look at all these offenses, indecent language and all of those things. You just have to look at a whole host of offenses that you would summons people. The officer can write up a summons like a ticket and give you, you know what I mean, and you come to court. So you don't have to encounter the police station, you don't have to, somebody don't have to come bail you, and all of that now fly through the window. So as to reduce the overcrowding. Sure, yeah. Any other method is continuously overcrowding. So you look at all of these offenses, you know, that you can eliminate and make them non-arrestable offences. And by that way, that alone will help to reduce mm -hmm. it would be, it would be cost and state and it would be a lot of paperwork, paperwork. right of yes. paper, yes. a JP of it.
time, a senior officer has to sign when a man is to be bailed. It is even $20,000 bail. So much things has to be produced. And all of that mitigates against person and so on. So, like I said, it wouldn't just be for Gandhi, a wide range of offenses which we feel more, if more than likely the punishment is not imprisonment. You aim for at that sort of standard. If the chances of the punishment won't be one of imprisonment, then you make it non-arrestable. So by that way, the overcrowding will be considerably less. And the, the interaction now with police will be so much less now. You get the ticket, you come a court, and you don't even have to talk again. And so all of those offenses, I think, you should even charge people for indecent language. All of them things should come off of the book. You know what I mean? Because it's so frequent, you know, mm. and so on, you know, people just react instantly. And um, also areas, there are some, some, there are some things that are institutionalized that has to be true. And um, two 15 year old have sex, boy and girl, consensual sex. Mo in, in, in the situation that I have examined with the in regard to the, the Child Care and Protection Agency. 70% of the time, you lock up the boy, you leave the girl. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Yes. So there's that mindset that is the boy commit a criminal act. Now all of that, now I think... And, and George, recently... Things like that. Locked no, up the both both, the boy and the girl. Both the boy and the girl. But I'm of the view that you really shouldn't criminalize people. But as it may appear to be, you don't criminalize a youth because they have sex with a girl. Find other ways to treat the problem. You understand? It's, it's he has to be a man one day. Socialization. He has to be a man one day. And part of his manhood. You understand what yeah. I mean? Is that he's expected to have sex with the opposite female and expected to bring four children. That's how the way the race can continue. So if you criminalize him at that age, you might figure say, throw him life every time him have sex, he's a criminal. So I'm saying things like that we have to look at differently now. Yes. You know what I mean? We're not going to encourage promiscuity that it has go out, but we have to be careful how we, how we monitor these things. And certainly you keep the law in terms of these big 40 and 50 and year old man having sex with a little 12 years, that, that, that continues. Because in that case now, he has to be treated differently. You understand? And so on. We also, in my view, have been looking at some of the laws like even Obia. All them things need to come off of the books now. You understand? If a man won't practice him, Obia paraphernalia, and if people won't go to him and pay them money or carry whatever, <laughs> and so on, it's free. Yeah, yeah. You criminalize people, you criminalize Obia, man, you criminalize the man who's going to him. If him feel that him can give you some magic potion yeah. will make you go to court and win your case, yeah. why should you fear that? <laughs> you understand what I mean? And, and you know, do, when you look at the, the historical aspect of it, aspect the of African it, you aspect of it, you realize yeah, that the colonial masters... that had been practiced by Africans. The, the colonial masters deliberately put those laws yes. to stop African practices. Yes. Yes. So this is where our party now, and I think for the Minister of Justice, that all those laws now need to come off of the book. Yes. In fact, in taking some of these laws off the book, we might be able to work a better society. If you eliminate ganja, then I, f I think that you, that antagonism between the police and youth would get considerably less, mm -hmm. and chances are the police would get more information to go at the Real the criminals, real criminals, the gunman and the murderers and those people. And I've always said that if we're really serious about fighting crime, you know, we are filling for the Obia man. I don't know no no murderer but don't go Obia man. I tell him. Yeah, get him read up. Man, is that protection? <laughs> and that come in court without protection. Mm -hmm. In fact, I heard a sergeant open court in Ulava one one time. The sergeant, this is how she opened the court. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All manner of persons having business are say, draw near and there shall be heard. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And this is how she. 
All those who have um, garlic in their mouth, take it out. <laughs> All those who have nothing make below them tongue, take it out. All those who have parchment paper in them shoes, go outside and take it out. <laughs> All who have pants below them waist, go fix it up. <laughs> All who come for listen people business, we'll have no space for you inside here today. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, God <laughs> save the Queen and God. So she opened the door. Yes, I yes. should know our people and should know yeah, them come. Yeah, right? Yeah, practical way. Judge yeah. name and the policeman name and the parchment people pushing their shoes. So when you stand up now, you stand up on him. You cannot defeat him. <laughs> so a man who believe not that, he's free. Yes, you understand? Yes, yes. Unfortunately, many judges in Jamaica believe not that also. <laughs> Okay, yeah, judges will come with him towel. Of course. I didn't know until a man tell me, he said, there's such and such of him towel. Mm-hmm. I know some sort of man come before him, take off him towel and him wipe him off. Yeah, man, all of them have the idiosyncrasies. Yes. Well, you know, and I really it. notice half of the person telling me that I've never seen him use a towel wipe him face. Yeah, it's man. all busy, man. You special, know, in special fact, towel. A lot of times, I've seen a person tell me that this ring now where I wear. The man said, please, my guard ring that. My guard ring. Yes. Yeah. So I tell him, so no, I am guarding. I wear three rings. This is from Ethiopia. So in the line and do that from Ethiopia. This is a stone from Senegal. And this is, of course, the cow shell from Ghana. So I do all of my thing after do with stones and so. Well, people see it and say, boy, you beat me so long. Guard yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because within the courthouse, this thing is strong. Yeah, man. Yeah, Judge, man. litigants, everybody. Everybody. Very strong. Um, so, no. serious to know that. What I can do next week, because I've actually written out most of them, is the laws that I think we need to take off the book and do it so we, 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 we reduce from being criminals to more of a civil sign and things of that nature. And I think there are the amount of laws that are on the book that make brothers and sisters criminals. And I think if we just sweep the place clean with enough of these things, then um, persons will feel more relaxed, both youths and persons coming up, and gradually now we can have a society whereby, you know, persons can work with the police in, and see the police in a different light in helping us to solve crime. So, those are areas that I would really like to start at. I know it looks away, but the lack of... No, man, that, 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 the that lack is of, some serious areas, because yeah. if the lack of science... I have visited Lapop in Mountain View here. Last time we did an inspection on the Lapop. Five persons supposed to be in the cell at a time, so 20 inside the cell. And when you approach it, the heat, the body heat that was coming, I wonder how the, the guy is not knock out, suffocate. Unhealthy, very unhealthy. And you just had a little pee hole up the top. And the door was about a three foot door. And all of the guys were just standing there to get the computer. So all the ones at the back was there without air, that musky smell inside. That's a serious one. 